Today in the news, you might want to look for a CPU sooner than later, and we got some strong laptop chips incoming. Oh, and also a tiny Tina. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with some CPU news. Unfortunately, it's not really good news. So Alder Lake just came out a little while ago. And while the performance is promising, the overall platform cost of a new computer with an Intel powered chip is pretty high. At the minimum, you're spending 200 bucks on a motherboard, 320 on your processor, and there's also the premium of having a slightly better cooler if you're going with the 12.7 or 12.900K. And if push comes to shove, you might want to invest in a better power supply. All of this may makes the offerings of the competition a little more appealing. I mean, you can snag a motherboard that is feature packed, a B551 for just 50 bucks, which is instantly $150 cheaper than the competition. So yeah, AMD is still in the running. Plus, early next year, we're looking at a new lineup of CPUs that perform better and might just put AMD back on top for performance. How? Well, architectural improvements and of course the 3D vCache. The thing that apparently gave enterprise workloads on Epic CPUs a boost of 50% in terms of performance when compared to these same CPUs without the extra cache. On the mainstream platform, a Ryzen 9 CPU could have up to 192 megabytes of L3 cache. Now that's pretty insane. And that's where the bad news come in. Just like GPUs, we might hit a pretty big bump in the road in terms of both availability and pricing. That's because there's a new kid in town. Earlier this year, the cryptocurrency and platform called Raptorium entered mainnet. It's a proof of work kind of cryptocurrency. And recently, it was discovered that CPUs with large caches performed better at mining RTM. And obviously, mining farms are starting to pop up. El Chapuza Informatico got a hold of footage where it looks like there were about 30 systems being prepared for mining. And while yes, the higher end AMD processors are definitely more coveted, all AMD CPUs are basically good at mining this cryptocurrency. And as I said earlier, this algorithm loves more cash. And what does the next generation of Ryzen CPUs have? A huge amount of it. So it looks like we might have a repeat of 2020 in terms of CPU availability. And worse, we might see the same scalping that we see with the current GPUs. Heck, we might even see AMD have reason to keep or even bump up their pricing because no matter what, they're going to sell like hotcakes. Just as we thought that the CPU shortage for AMD was easing up. That's brutal. In less gloom and doom news for AMD, let's look at their mobile department. We've seen the rumors since all the way back in early 2020. Raphael H will be the first high-end laptop chips to have an RDNA 2 IGP. We also knew from the Gamers Nexus leak that it would be based on the TSMC's five nanometer process and that it would have a IO die based on the seven nanometer process. That same slide told us that it would have up to two Durango CCDs with SMT2 enabled so that up to 16 cores and 32 threads. Well, that was a year and a half ago, and the leakers are bringing in some new information on the subject. First, Phoenix H, which is your more traditional chip, would have up to eight Zen 4 cores and 16 threads. And it would be based on a five nanometer process with a TDP of around 40 watts or less. Raphael H, on the other hand, would top out at 16 cores and 32 threads. This is the first time we could see a core count higher than eight on an AMD laptop. This is great news since Intel is rumored to release laptop chips with up to eight P cores and eight E cores a configuration that would have surely beat any 8-core AMD models right now. The only thing is AMD will be a little late to the party with Raphael H because those would only come late 2022. Oh, and by the way, Raphael would also be the desktop APU chip, which means that we'll finally see Vega graphics disappear and make way for RDNA 2 and up. And lastly, let's do a free game check since it's been a while. Right now on the Epic Store, you have Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, a Wonderlands one-shot adventure. Now, this is a fairly old, let's say, game. It's from 2013, but it's a goodie. It's basically a DLC adventure for Borderlands 2, but now packaged as its own game with a couple of extras. I mean, it's free, so check it out. It won't hurt. It looks pretty cool. 
In any case, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. Damn, I'm talking fast. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one.